So I guess I'm gonna get attacked by another NPC hunter, is what's gonna happen here. This is another whole zone down here, isn't it? Oh, that looks like a big deal. Is this the guy I'm not supposed to kill, I wonder? There's a bird over here. I can drop down to check out the where the bird is, but I won't be able to get back. Just go for it? Let's just go for it. Hey, birdie. This seems like more of a dead end, so I'm more secure checking it out. Hit. Land for me. There we go. Oh, if I drop down over there, I could probably get that item. Can't get it from here, though. So where's the hunter at? Is he visible around here? I don't think so, I don't think the invasions work the same. I don't think enemy hunters work the same way as invasions did in the previous games. All right, yeah, there's a guy. He's scary. He's got like a weird lightning sword. I'm gonna cap myself off just in case. We, this guy might be a problem. Hopefully, this isn't the guy that the guy that the person didn't want me to fight. To be fair, I have no idea where I'm going. I guess are they gonna be mad at me if I kill their if I kill their mark? I'm just hoping there's no more surprise enemies here besides that guy. Because that'd be a bummer. Drop attack. Yeah. How's that feel, buddy? Hup. Oh shit, there's multiple hunters? I'm out of here. I'm getting some... I'm gonna go up a bit. Oh, there's multiple hunters. Oh, fuck you. Really? Oh, no. That was an opportunity for a... Uh. There we go. Go for it this time. That does not do as much damage as I would hope it would do. I'm gonna try to fight this guy without his teammate catching up on us. Uh. Ow, Jesus. The extra shots coming in are just a problem. That didn't stun them? Come on. I really, really like his attacks to stun this guy. There we go. I just need a few good hits on this guy before his friend shows up and makes everything a mess. Yep. Oh. Got a freaking lightning transforming weapon. That's pretty sweet. Hit him once. He's down. Alright, now it's just the other guy. Ow. How's he hitting me? Where there's like rocks in the way. What's what's my reward? Bolt paper. So it's oh yeah, that's what they were using to make lightning weapons. Jesus Christ! This person's basically cheating at this point. They're shooting me through rocks. Ow. Fucking fuck fuck, really? Give me my hit points back. What the fuck? This is not how hitboxes work. That's clearly terrain he shouldn't be able to shoot through, unfortunately. Jesus Christ, this person's way harder than the last one. The other one was that they were covering. Partly because they can shoot through walls, which is just hacks. <laughs> They have a shotgun that doesn't have to, that you can't even hide behind walls for, apparently. Yep. Yep. Just try to wail on this guy for a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Just run, running away, running away. I end up getting some distance here. God damn, this person's hard. It kind of just feels unfair. Do I try, uh, do I even try the chain? God damn it. Hit him. Jesus Christ. This person in their goddamn... Alright, whatever. I have extra resources to spare after this. Oh, what? Oh, fuck you. I'm not letting you kill me that easily. Run away. Run away, run away. Run away. Holy crap. How do you fight this person? They just... They have infinite ammo. <laughs> uh, it's hard to fight people when they don't have to follow the same rules as you. Ah. I can't carry that many fucking bullets, that's for sure. Huh. What the fuck? How did I get stunned? Did I even attack? I don't think I did an attack to get stunned in the first place. Come on. God damn it. He has infinite ammo. What do you do with this fight? God damn it. <sighs> I don't like this. <laughs> I'm not I'm not really enjoying this fight. God damn it. He just has infinite fucking ammo. 
I'm gonna die here because I can't fucking fight this guy. I don't know what the strategy is. How do you fight a guy that just infinitely shoots you with bullets forever? Fireball. You just fire in your face, asshole. There's fire in your face. How do you deal with fire in the face? Hey, like that, huh? There's my leech strat, asshole. Fire in your face. Fire in your face. Fire in your face. That didn't work very well. Fire in your face. Yeah, that one didn't even hurt him, but it hit him in the face. What's this bullshit? Come on. Come on, hiding around the corner. Jesus Christ, the fucking shotgun. I'm out of- I'm all out of freaking Molotovs, too. Fuck- fuck you! <sighs> How is that a fun fight? That just seems dumb that he can just keep shooting forever. And he doesn't stagger when I hit him. Like if, if like if he hits, if I keep shooting, I run out of ammo and I get staggered if he hits me. If I if he keeps shooting, I just I, I wail on him and nothing happens. So it's, he just gets to keep shooting me. And his guns actually do a lot of damage. <sighs> At least the other one probably doesn't respawn. I assume. Bolt paper, coarse rubbing paper that applies bolt to weapon. Invented by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church Workshop. Artificially recreates the blue sparks that are said to surround dark beasts. Unlike the other strange weapons created by Archibald, this one is favored by many hunters, in particular those who had even once laid eyes on a dark beast. Good news is I was able to get down here pretty easily by just running past all the slow guys, so if there's a boss in the area too, then that'll be easy to get to. I'm gonna try using the dark beast stuff, the uh, bolt paper against this guy. Give me bonus damage against this asshole. Hearing noises. I really hope the other guy doesn't respawn. I assume that once one hunter's dead, he doesn't come back. Where is he? I see one hunter. Yeah, there's only one hunter in my line of sight right now. So I assume he's it. Maybe if I can hide behind... Can I hide behind this well, maybe? Maybe that deflects his shotgun blast? It's possible. Nothing else was, though, so I wouldn't put much faith in it. Alright, bolt paper, go. We'll just give it our best shot. Hit me with your best shot, which he will because he uses guns non-stop. Ow. Rude. Fucking rude. How's he dodging every attack? Come on. Really? It's like impervious to all attacks. Fucking... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is he getting- oh, he's getting staggered by the shocks, isn't he? No! Dodge, dodge, don't let him get- Jesus. Ow, shit. Yeah, I think the- I think the- I think the uh, shock paper stuns him. And then we're out of it. Alright, second- second go. Fuck, 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 God damn it. I'll shoot you back, motherfucker. Fuck you. I can shoot guns too. Asshole. Ugh. This guy's a dick. Ow. Ow. Hide behind this spot for a second. Is he gonna come for me? Or is he just gonna hang out? Fuck it. Bolt paper. Come here, asshole. Ow, shit. No! No, don't just fucking die like that! Fucking heal, heal, heal. Fucking finish him! Stab, stab! Nope! Heal. This is so fucking close. Fuck this guy! Come on! He's really hard to hit at all. Because he can dodge like crazy. He, is, he doesn't get interrupted generally by getting hit. He's got his goddamn shotgun. That is just the worst. God. Can't get attacks off. Hit him once. Fuck that guy. Huh. Well, I feel better now. <laughs> Quicksilver bullets. Ten. Who says revenge doesn't make you feel better? Those people are stupid. Fuck those guys. <laughs> I'm right. 
All right. Huh, that was tense. I, I get, I'm amused by the concept, too, that, like, killing one of them gave me a resource that helped me kill the other one is kind of nice. It's a bummer that I wasted all of my Molotovs on that asshole last time. That was an expensive kill, but he's also a permanent kill at the very least. Does this drop down to something useful? Oh, there's a staircase down there. Oh, that's just a normal staircase. I don't need to drop at all. We also have, do we have two doorways that are lit up, so these are more NPCs I can talk to. Were these hunters protecting these NPCs? If so, it's too bad we couldn't just f just fucking talk like people do. And then not kill each other. That would have been cool. What's this thing say? Time for attacks from behind. I am I going to get attacked if I talk to this door? Is that what they're talking about? Oh, those birds are probably still on the roof. What if I get attacked from them? What's this, what's this note say? Time for attacks from behind. Is that the, is that the bird from upstairs? Here, we'll try talking to it. Maybe look, turn our camera backwards. Bless us with blood. Bless us with blood. Attacks from behind. Oh, oh, that's just, a, that's another player dropping down. Spooky. Bless us with blood. Blood. Not much going on with him. Her, sorry. What's going on here? Bless us with blood. Bless us with blood. So they're crazy? Bless us. Yeah, it's not all, that's all that's happening there. I mean, crazy might not be the right word for it because, you know, blood is like the, the essence of how you survive in this world. I should try to get drop. I should try to drop down in a pattern to get that item up there. All right, so that's a that's our first double hunter fight. They escalated things quickly. We never even had a. S oh, there might be something back here. Let's take a look. We only had one single hunter fight so far, and we already had a double hunter fight. And I could have found I could have found this one first. This could have been my first ever hunter fight, and it would have been versus two of them. And goddamn, they're brutal. They're they're just as brutal as some of the Dark Souls Two DLC invasions were. Just. It's like, oh yeah, fight this guy. By the way, he's got he's just like you, but he's he's way faster, has infinite stats, and spams attacks nonstop, because they don't have stamina apparently. So that's cool. And they don't have ammo, so the 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 thing about like Maldrin and stuff like that. Maldrin the assassin and people like that who seem to just break the rules of how the game works. Alright, we'll drop down. So up up there was some some uh, blood for us. Bless you with blood. No, bless me with blood. So we have a path that goes up and a path that goes down. These are still other paths. Hoo! Fuck, it's one of these guys. I'm out. I'm out. I don't want to deal with this guy. These guys are the worst. They take forever to kill. They, then they're just, they're just normal enemies. They respawn. The guy that I killed earlier respawned. <gasps> the guy's got goods. Oh, shit. Fuck that guy up. He might drop me the, tri the twin. Nope, just blood shards. Well, shit. That's not, that's not that useful. The last one I killed gave me twins, at least, which which meant I was able to upgrade my weapon. Find another like that, and we're set. Is this going to take me to the other zone that I was already looking at a second ago? Because if it does, I'll move back. Fear sniping. There's a ranged enemy. Oh, yeah. This looks ominous. Alright, before we go any further, I think I might check out the door that I keep skipping first. I, I thought at least one of these zones might be like a temporary quick area, but they both seem to go on for ages. Uh, do I risk trying to get past this guy? I have 10,000 souls. It's not a great decision, probably. But he might be guarding an item. Come get me, bro. Just chase me a little bit, maybe. Just a little? I'm going to want to go back to town anyway, so let, let's equip a hunter's mark. A bold hunter's mark. I have a bunch of those, right? Yeah, I have ten. We're set. That means I probably have more in town that I just can't carry. Because if I can, I'd prefer not to lose my souls. Ow, dick. Don't bother me. I'm trying to look behind you for items. Nothing here? Oh, there's something down there. I'm going for it. This item's mine now. Oh, there's one of the things I need. The twin upgrades. Uh, anything around here? Looks like that just continues down to the zone we're about to go to. There's a sniper. So that that down there is the sniper I'm supposed to watch out. Oh, there's two of them. 
So as you proceed to the zone, there's multiple snipers. So you actually want to go down this way first to fight the snipers. So that'll be what we do next. But I want to check out that door next. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to warp back and probably spend some souls. Then we'll check out what's behind that door. Hopefully it's not just locked because that'd be really embarrassing. All right, we're back. I uh, I kind of impulsively did it off screen, my bad, but uh, one thing is I went into my character, just gave myself three more points of vitality, because I had some experience to spend from my inventory and from my pool. So that, now I'm level 32, I believe. Also, did a quick, uh, I went to, a, did a blood gem thing here. We're still using this nice uh, red one I got before from that uh, brooch where I destroyed a quest item. But we also have this one. We have a level 7 item here. It gives me 7.3% physical attack bonus and 2.7% physical damage when I'm at full hit points, which is something that happens fairly often. So to compare, I had 1.4 before, I believe. So I was here at 45 bonus damage. This took me up to 54 bonus damage. So I just gained another 9 damage again. So significant increase in power there. I also... I'll have to double check later, but I think I, I'm pretty sure I read that the soft cap for stats, uh, for strength and dexter and st uh, strength and skill specifically is 25, which is why I've kind of paused at 25 skill. I'll probably still add more to it. There's diminishing returns both because of the increased cost and because it'll increase my damage by less than it was before, but it's probably still good to put some points into. But in the meantime, I might put some points. I think I want to hit the soft cap of 20. I think it's also 25 for uh, vitality. I might do- I might increase my endurance a bit, because it gives you a large amount of resistance for poison. And I might increase my arcane a bit, just to get a better item discoverability, so cool stuff like, uh, maybe oil urns would drop more frequently. Next order of business, res just respond to comments here, basically. Someone suggested I use the hand lantern more often. Yeah, that was kind of my intention from the get-go, and I kind of forgot. <laughs> but, uh, the hand lantern should have imply and it should improve the lighting and make the videos a little more pleasing to watch. So hopefully that'll I'll, I'll just try to remember to do that. Also, here is the insight pool, which is the pool that was not here before, but as I got more insight, it showed up. And I actually haven't looked at this yet. Buy with insight, make trades with with messengers using insight. So what can we purchase here? Oh, you can get four. Is that four of them? Weird. Oh, I know four is how many I have. Okay, I was confused by why it said four for at first. So you can trade an insight for a pungent blood co blood cocktail, which can help you. Oh, a small resonant bell lets you some lets you get summoned into other people's worlds, and sinister resonant bell ring to become the enemy of a hunter in another world. That's how you invade people's areas. I'll probably just go ahead and buy both unless something really compelling. Oh, it's Gascon set. Oh, this stuff could be neat. That's... are these... is that... A, are all those numbers over 100? I think they are. Uh, can I compare to my current one? It doesn't let, doesn't let me compare to my current set, does it? Let's see here. So let's try to remember this. 90, 110, 180. I just want to compare real quick. Okay, it might not be better than the Yarnum Hunter set, for example. Part of me wants to just buy it for the sake of it, though, just because it's cool to have. What else do we have to offer? Nothing else. Okay. Well, let's just buy some of these unique items, then. We'll buy Gascon's items. Because why the hell not? I have the insight, so I might as well spend it. And I'm going to buy these two bells so that I can... I might do that. I might I might have an episode where I assist people, and I might have an episode where I invade people, or something like that, at some point in the series. Don't feel the need to buy bunch, uh, pungent and blood cocktails, and we're going to have to build up more insight as we need it. Uh, good news is, if I ever need insight, I do have 11 Madman's Knowledge in my inventory, so I can use those accordingly if I need to. I try not to spend them in advance, just because I don't know if at some point... Like, I don't know if something can take it from me, like humanity could. So let's do a more direct comparison then. Gascon's set, uh, compared to... I'm going to lose 20 physical defense, but I'm going to gain 10 versus blunt and 20 versus thrust right here. Uh, lowered blood defense, but increased defense against arcane fire and bolt. I kind of just want to see what this set looks like, honestly. Let me guess, it looks like Gascon. Surprise! Or Gascoin, sorry. Or at least that's what someone else said that it was pronounced like. Yeah, that looks about right. Except I've got my style and mustache. 
Oh, that, uh, this is a cool visual. <laughs> so, what, what can we read about these items? Gascoigne's garb. Hunter attire worn by Father Gascoigne. His dingy scarf is a, is a hollow shawl and symbol of the healing church from which Gascoigne could eventually part ways. Father is a title used for clerics in a foreign land and there is no such rank in the healing church. Similar to hunter garb created at the workshop, only those the only these are tainted by a pungent and beastly stench that eats away at Gascoigne. Father is title that's anything. Let's see. Same text again. Oops, took the head off. Uh same text again. Okay. How's this compared to the other top hat? Oh yeah, way but looks like it has better stats in general than the uh normal top hat does except this one has bonuses for th this one has better fl uh strength and and stuff like that so ha ha how's my poison resistance it's not as good as the black church but it's actually you're better than yarnum hunter it looks like is that true for all of them it is so this would be this is an even better this is another really good poison resistance set you could use against uh i assume you can get this set for the blood starved beast i think i'm gonna head over I mean, if I'm wearing, if I'm wearing the whole set, maybe I should go check out if that one girl will talk to me differently. Otherwise, I'm gonna get back to that door I said I was gonna open.